as champion. Hey everyone, today I want to talk about tactical retreating. And what does tactical retreating look like? What does it mean for the game as a whole? Why would you decide to retreat a certain distance away? And what does that end up doing for you tactically as far as giving you an advantage even if you are temporarily running away? Really what it comes down to is a lot of classes in the game, a lot of heroes are able to get an advantage on you based on surprise or based on a, a an instant attack that does either a temporary uh, stun effect or a lot of damage very quickly. And what you need to be able to do to avoid those situations is have yourself in, a, in an advantageous position and not allow yourself to be surprised. But if you do happen to be surprised and their attack is not as effective as it should be, as in it doesn't kill you within one second, how can you temporarily get in a position that will allow you to escape but then be able to turn around and cause them grief. The first part of this is really about knowing the map and knowing where the health kits are. If you get down to a low percentage of your health, if you're able to quickly get back to a position where you can get a, a, a large health pack and recover all your health, or even a medium one give you that slight little boost, it can really re-even the odds as far as you've taken away their surprise element, and now you're taking away their health advantage, and really it puts you back on even footing. We've talked about this before, that playing defense is really about forcing the enemy team to make mistakes. If they make the mistake of giving away their surprise attack and not being not being able to deliver fatal damage on their surprise attack, you need to be able to punish them for that. You need to be able to temporarily re retreat, grab a health pack, and then be able to re-engage them without the, the benefit of their surprise. The second half of a tactical retreat involves re-engaging. After you've recovered your health, you've turned back around, how can you best be able to re-engage the enemy? And there's a couple ways that you can do this. One is with ultimates. If you have had a chance to charge your ultimate, a lot of heroes have the ability to, to gain an upper hand quickly based on their ultimate ability. And finally, the second part of re-engaging is about re-establishing position. You need to be able to get back to where your strong defensive position was, force them to have to to retake you. you. You've eliminated their element of surprise. You know they're probably coming back in your direction. They're going to try to take you out. And now you know they're coming. Now that their surprise is gone, you can shift your defensive position in a way that will account for surprise attacks coming after you. This is particularly helpful with defensive overlook classes that establish that defensive position that's really difficult to get to. It requires a certain hero type or a certain hero ability in order to, to break that position, that defensive advantage. And if, if you're able to get back there quickly without dying, it really can force an enemy team into an awkward spot of having to re-engage you again from that position. Ultimately, tactical retreat is about accelerating re-engagement. If you don't die and you don't have to wait for respawn and running back all the way back from your, your start point, then you're really accelerating the process of forcing an enemy team to deal with you. Every extra second that you can force them to pay attention to you rather than the objective is an extra second that buys your team time to get back and help help you defend a point. Hope you guys found this useful, and I'll see you in game. Good luck out there, guys.